G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, one of the common questions I get when working with clients uh, around document sets is how we can have a different view inside of a document set as opposed to at the top level of the document library. So that's what we are going to focus on in this little deep dive video. So we can see here that I'm in a SharePoint site. Now, I'm just going to first of all, create a new document set. Now, in this use case, we're using document sets for projects. So I'm just going to click my little dashboard here and I'm going to uh, call this uh, and create a new project document set. I'll call it project, uh, copilot project. I'll give, um, I'll set the project manager, the project status and also the project start date, which is tomorrow. So that's just a custom content type created based on the document set parent. And I've just added a few um, custom metadata fields to that particular uh, content type. Now, we can see in here, if I just jump back up to the library, we can see that we've got this view. We've got the project manager, the status, the start date, and the end date at this view. Now, when I go inside of a document set, we can see that I've still got the same view. Now, this may not be relevant to the documents that are inside. So we may have different types of documents, different categories, and different ways in which we wanna view our documents inside of this document set. So rather than having to add columns and do all that sort of thing inside uh, every single time, we're gonna create a view that then can be set as the default for this, um, this inside of this document set. So we can see that I can go and I've got my content types that have been added to this document set. So they're available for me to use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and upload some documents and then we'll create a view based uh, on what we wanna see inside of this set. All right, so I've uploaded a few documents inside of my Copilot project document set. Now let's go ahead and set some metadata for these, all right? So these three here are uh, feasibility study. So I'm going to change the content type to feasibility study. I'm going to set the document owner and I'll also set the document status and I'll also set the focus area. All right, so there's our metadata set for those three documents, but you'll see that they're not, that that metadata isn't part of the view because we've got the view of the library itself. Now I'll do the same thing for these three. So I'm just going to change um, change the content type here for these three. We'll go market research. The document owner can be somebody else in this case. Uh, the status can be, again, we're gonna approve these, but you'll notice that we've got a different focus area here because of the different content type and we'll hit save. All right, so now that we've got our metadata set, let's, what we can do to, to create a, a different view and set it as default inside of this set, I can go and create a new view and I'll call this one uh, document set file view. All right, so we'll, cr we'll create a, a view called that. Now let's add a few columns. So what I wanna do here is I want to add the content type, the document owner and the document status. I don't want these and I'm going to hit apply. So we can see that we've got the document status, the owner of the doc and what we might do here is let's just edit this column and I wanna show the profile photos, we'll hit save. And now I'm just going to save this view and now, if I go back up to projects, you'll see I've still got the default view, right? So you'll see that I've, auto, I've still got the, these columns. We'll just hit the refresh button. I'll go to Copilot project and you can see I've still got that. And we haven't got that as set as the default. So inside of the library settings, we can go to our uh, project content type here, which is our document set. I can go also now to document set settings. Now inside document set settings, if I scroll down the bottom here, we can set the week, uh, the welcome page view and we can select the view. So if I go to document set file view and click okay, that will then set the, the default view inside of that set. So if I go to back to projects and I'll go here, I've got my, uh, my project document set. And now when I click inside of this document set, you can see that the view automatically gets set to document set file view and I've got my metadata here. And if I go back up to projects, you'll see that I've got that 
uh, default view at the top level of the library. So that is how you can create a different view and set that as the default when you're going inside of a document set. So you can have your metadata at the top level of the document set, and then you can have a different view showing the metadata that you want inside of that document set. So I hope that deep dive brings you some value. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.